you intro into a vlog in the bathroom, it's just, it doesn't make sense. I don't even know if the camera's set up right, but we're going to go along with it anyway. So, uh, hey out there, uh, I am in the process of, uh, I'm, I'm in the bathroom. Um, this is my uh, vlog that I promised to do in the two videos that I worked on uh, most recently. Uh, in my straight razor here. Uh, my safety razor. Um, so, uh, the reason that I'm joining you first off uh, for my video log in the bathroom is because I'm going to shave. And the reason, oh, get it on with the shirt. Oh. Um, the reason that I'm joining you in the bathroom is because I want to bring light to my beard. Uh, yes, my beard. So, I have not been fully clean shaven and some sort of facial hair for, well, I want to say for more than 10 years, uh, but I'd have to do some uh, photographic research to find out whether or not that's accurate or not, but I feel like that's pretty accurate. The reason that I bring that up, and, uh, hold on one second. <laughs> The reason that I bring that up is because I was told by a friend of mine, a very good friend, my, as well as my old boss, that her partner currently is going to be going through some major, or is currently going through, I should say, because they just had a party that I was unable to go to today. Um, and I do apologize about that, ladies. Um, but uh, she's going through radiation for cancer. Um, and so, after our kickball game the other day, last Thursday, that we won, we never won an entire game, the entire entirety of our season, we're one and seven, and we won against the team that was the biggest douchebags in the entire season. Are you still recording? Sorry, it started to flash, I'm not sure what it's doing. Um, but, we went to have beers afterwards to just catch up and chat and whatnot, and there's going to, she was letting me know that there's going to be a shave party and her partners um, have cancer problem. And uh, for all those little ones out there that don't know what the actual word is, go and ask your parents and say, hey, hey dad, hey mom, what's the F word? I was told to ask you. I'm sure they'll love the F for it and they'll probably love me for telling you to do that, but if you want to kick, go, go. Go ask him. Uh, so, get to my point since I'm halfway done with my shave. Um, basically, I told my boss, my, my good friend, that I would love to go to the party and I would most definitely shave my head. Well, I also made the offer because hair does eventually grow back, even if the beard does get pissed off at me and won't grow back for a couple of years. Mm, probably not. But if you listen to the beard song that I link in the uh, comments below, uh, I might die by shaving my beard. So we'll see. But I told my boss that I would actually post online the fact that if I can raise enough money, I will go completely shaving. I won't shave off my eyebrows. I have that done once. I won't do that again because I look like a freaking uh, what are they? The, the egg head, the cone heads. I look like a cone head with no eyebrows. But I did make the offer that if I can raise over, I think I said five hundred, five hundred dollars uh, for her for her party and for her, uh, that I would shave my beard along with shaving my head. So, I believe the party is in September, August to September, so I have one. $500 really isn't that much to raise in a month's time if you send it out there. But, I would like to see what I can do as a 
cancer survivor, is a survivor of a family of cancer, since my mom had cancer, um, and also my aunt had cancer, and also along the lines of a, um, someone who died of cancer, my grandmother died of cancer, she died of pancreatic cancer. Um, I feel like this would be an appropriate thing. Um, I also know that my friend Angie is going through um, cancer as well, which is curious what that means about our culture and where we're headed, but that's neither here nor there, because I'm not locked up. But I will be a man of my word. If I can raise $500, I will go clean shaven. Uh, get out of the shower, find a, try to find a picture of me without a beard. I think I'm going to look like a real weird guy. So, stay tuned. Nice, clean, ooh, I forgot. The one thing that everyone's going to want to see. Old Spice. Didn't hurt this time. I'll catch you guys in just a bit. So, fourth take, trying to get this down once, but it's hard. I don't know why tonight. Eh. You've, <laughs> you've made it into the second portion of my video log. Uh, thank you for watching me shave, joining me for that. I did not uh, get any cuts this time, so obviously someone out there, one of my viewers is good luck. Thank you very much. Um, please check out the link below. Um, as we just set up the GoFundMe, uh, and let's see if we can do it. Um, cancer's a shitty thing, and I want to see what I can do to help my friend out. So, um, thank you for staying tuned. Uh, let's see, video log. That means I give you an update for the things that go on in my life. Uh, where have I been the last couple weeks? Well, I had a mo uh, not a motorcycle, because my motorcycle's not working. Uh, bicycle accident. I was coming down the Cherry Creek bike path, came into a corner, uh, thought I was going slow enough, but I wasn't, went down, cracked my helmet, and slid into a guardrail. When I slid into the guardrail, I hit the computer. Uh, computer had already been having a little bit of trouble, um, but this kind of just kicked it right over the edge. I don't know if that's now my motion for kick. I don't know. Uh, needless to say, uh, the computer started to act a little funky, uh, if not extremely funky, crapped out on me a couple of times, and then started to corrupt all of my hard drives. Yeah! Um, uh, I, I don't let on that that actually, like, was really annoying. It was really annoying. Um, it corrupted my YouTube hard drive, which I lost almost everything. Uh... I was able to save some stuff, not very much. Uh, it corrupted my backup, which was a glorious thing. Uh, and so I took it to a shop, then they helped me out a little bit, but kind of gave me not the runaround, but like didn't tell me anything I knew, didn't know, already know, didn't really help me other than backing up my hard drive, um, which I could have done. I would have just taken it out and backed it up. It's not that hard if the logic board's not working take it out plug it in back it up you're good to go um, but got my computer back took it to Apple Apple replaced the logic board and did a once over of it for three four hundred dollars I don't remember uh, but considering the fact I spent about twenty five hundred on it and you know spending four hundred to get the computer back up and running so that I can make wonderful music you know, sometimes I just don't think about the things that are come like, it's like up here, and it's like, blah, and it's like completely opposite of what's up here, but I wasn't making music videos, but Minecraft videos, and other Steam videos as well as I'm starting to get into, um, if I can reach it, GoPro, uh, for my bike, um, my adventures, through transportation on two wheels, uh, being stuck behind bars, you might say. That's right. I uh, I found a picture of um, two hands on 
um, handlebars, and it's like behind bars. And the fact that I do over 100 miles a week, and today I did about 30 miles, um, just riding around to and from work, and just around for life. I'd say life behind bars for me is pretty accurate. Um, I am doing fantastic, uh, being that I can finally play, record, um, other than having to reinstall everything and get some new programs, I'm doing really good. Uh, Edward is asleep, but she is doing fantastic. Um, that little dog, they actually found out that the growth that was on her leg was a piece of grass that got in under the skin, got pushed in, so it was like under, under the skin and in the muscle, and so the body started to attack it, and then it like put liquid around it, and then it calcified around it. Really weird shit, but you know, my little dog, just like me, can do whatever she wants and comes out on top. Uh, I am starting school in three weeks. Uh, I'll be taking two or three classes, uh, depending on what the class is. I found today there was a class I'd like to take. It's a one credit class, and they're asking, what, three hours? Three hours a day, Monday through Thursday, so 15 hours a week for this one credit class, um, I think is utterly ridiculous. Uh, I've never had an undergraduate class that's required that much for a one credit class. Like my jogging and walking class, we met two or three times a week, but it was to meet, go for a run, then meet, and then go home. And normally, sorry prof, I would meet you, and then I would just go home and go back to bed, because like you didn't really take any anything at the end. And then all I had to do was write a two-page paper on like the um, benefits and the positive things of jogging and walking. Yeah, staying school kids. Uh, motorcycle's good. Um, I'm going to be taking the tank off this week, uh, cleaning out the carbs, and then so it's going to be like this. Tank off, carbs out and cleaned, oil uh, drained, oil filter taken out, and then two like a bunch of oil flush through the system um, to try to get it. I'm basically going to change the oil twice um, just because the age of the bike. So get that through and put that all back together. Um, get new handlebars, uh, new master cylinder, clutch, brake, um, and cables for those. And then start her up. And she should run. Um, I know that uh, the fact that she was dying um, when they gave her throttle uh, could mean that the carbs just need to be cleaned. But we'll see when that happens. Oh, and I need to replace a couple of tubes, but not big things. Once that's done, once that is done, I'll be able to clean her really good, um, take off the forks, uh, fix, replace the forks, um, fix the brakes, and then do the tires. Um, and like, I know that I've talked about doing other stuff, but for now that would actually be a lot of fun just to be able to get her up, get her riding, get on with the, get on with the day. So that's good. Um, let's see what else work is good. Start a new project. Uh, I'll be working on the 15th Street uh, uh, research and uh, testing project, uh, looking at the, what is it, four different vertical separations or protected bike lanes, so PBLs, uh, for four different blocks in Denver. Um, we're looking at controlling the situation as much as we can and observing like the conflicts and what's going to be the safest, what's going to be the the like the most functional and cost effective um, because there's a lot of conflict on the left side from the, the vehicles leaving like uh, the parking lots and the hotels and whatnot and then there's a lot of conflict from the right with the vehicles that swerve in and merge for the left turn lanes and then as well as the vehicles that turn left into the parking lots, the alleyways and the hotels. So I'm really excited about that. I got about a week on that, and then I will be uh, 
speaking with my supervisor about my, my ideas. Um, I think this is going to be a really fun project. I get to, um, I'm going to get to do, this is the first time I've ever done a project like this. I'm, I bounce in my seat just thinking, well, I'm not bouncing right now, but I was bouncing in my seat today just doing research. It's like, yeah, I'm going to do research. Is that spit everywhere? Um, uh, what else is going on? Uh, loot crate videos. Uh, stay tuned for those. Uh, once I get my third loot crate, um, I, I I like to watch people do them. And I was watching um, uh, Generic Beef do his, um, and I you know I figured it would be good to do them as well. I really enjoy loot crate and whatnot. Um, so life is good. Um, my friends are happy to see me back. Um, and getting there and happy and healthy and just being who I am. Uh, it's good to be back, guys. I'm, I'm happy. So I'm just kind of tired and really want to play some dark wood. So also look for that. Uh, I know I've been doing a whole bunch of videos, uh, new games. Oh, and um, uh, update on the vanilla server and an update on the Skyfox server. I actually don't think I've recorded on the Skyfox server, but that's a modded server, so I've been trying to um, get some stuff done so that I can like show you guys and be like, hey, look what I did! But, you know, they killed the dragon, and unfortunately I wasn't there for that, but I know that uh, I'll be able to get in and uh, show everyone that's wanted me to play on a, uh, on a modded server. Um, in on Grand Fox. Uh, I know that James really wanted me to play, Josh, Moo, Mavis, everybody wanted me to play on a, on a modded server, but I also had some fans out there um, that aren't subscribed, but they're fans nonetheless because they I know they watch my videos. Uh, they pushed me to play on modded servers, and uh, I'm happy that I am. It's hard. It's really hard, and I hate like it's like taking as well almost dropped my tea squishing as much as you can in through one ear but I know that uh, once I get my tree done and my house made then I can start exploring and choose something although James did tell me that there is a possibility that my tree house could get hit by lightning so what I might do is actually build a dome around the top of the tree so if any lightning hits it the tree can go take that um i wouldn't actually say take that but it would be like that ah, i'm not getting hit by lightning so on that note guys it is wonderful being back it is wonderful to see all of you i hope you guys are excited to see me as well stay tuned for more of these let me know if you have any questions comments concerns if you want to see something new, if you're worried about my beard, um, he'll grow back. Uh, he gets kind of mad sometimes when I, sh when I trim him down, but he'll understand. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night, and until next time, we'll see you behind bars.